Are you ready to get down to business? Join seasoned entrepreneur, community leader, and Army veteran Scott Shalom Klein, who will take you behind the scenes with those who work in America's small business scene and speak with leaders making an impact, creating jobs, and telling their story in entrepreneurship. So let's get down to business. On AM560, The Answer, here's your host, Shalom Klein. And indeed, we're all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here on with Get Down to Business. I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts on my website at sykline.com. And while you're there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. So it's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information. And I'm thrilled to kick it off with Barry LaBeouf, who is the founder and CEO of LaBeouf Marketing Communications and Training. He's a two-time Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year recipient and an inductee into the Entrepreneur of the Year Hall of Fame. I go on and on with the Words from the Better Business Bureau uh, and uh, so many other uh, very, very uh, impressive accolades, uh, but most importantly, excited to dive into it with Barry LaBeouf. Barry, welcome to the program. Thank you, Shalom. I'm happy to be here. Absolutely happy to have you. So, Barry, uh, I know you are quite the entrepreneur. As we were just saying a moment ago, you've co authored and authored over a dozen business books, but where did you catch that entrepreneurial bug? Where did you get started, Barry? Well, Shalom, that's a great question. It was pretty much accidental. I did not mean to be an entrepreneur at first. I was in a rock band. Our music sold well under 1 million copies. And I got thrust into running a jingle company, those irritating little ditties. And what happened was I learned I loved it because I got to use my creativity. I found that by being creative, there were so many things that I could do and so many people I could help. And that's how it all happened. Well, there's some lessons right away, uh, again, going from a, uh, a, a band uh, to taking some of those lessons into business, which is awesome. So you are an expert, quite literally an expert on all things marketing and communications. And you've actually written quite a few interesting books. Um, and I know you've got a book, uh, The Power of Differentiation. So let's talk, uh, let's pick away some of those, uh, some of those areas where you've had that aha moment um, that you've, I know, been able to, uh, to help literally uh, hundreds, thousands of businesses all over the world with. Yeah, my book is titled The Power of Differentiation. The subtitle is Win Hearts, Minds, and Market Share. And that's what it's about because what we have learned is that most businesses have magic in them. They're doing something great, but they're far, far too close to it to understand. And when I say business is shalom, it could be a small business or it could be some of the larger businesses we get to work with, like Harley Davidson and McAllen Scotch. They're doing something unique. That's why they're in business. We go in, we discover what that is. We don't create it. We discover it. And often it's so close to them, they don't realize it. But here's where it gets even more exciting. We not only discover it, we name it, but before we launch and promote it, our clients celebrate it with the most important people in the world, their employees. And that's where all the magic really comes to life because now the employee feels like they're doing something of, of meaning. They have significance So all of that that happens there is so exciting because not only do you have a great product that's finally being realized for the magic it has, but you have people who feel like what they're doing is actually important and they care about what they do and they're far more likely to stay in their job and do a great job. Absolutely. Again, I'm chatting with Barry LaBeouf, the author of The Power of Differentiation, as well as quite literally a dozen other books. Uh, by the way, I know uh, Carol, your uh, your lovely bride, I know, is also an author as well. I believe she wrote a book called The Cave Boy, who would be president. Maybe we'll uh, squeeze in a little bit about the uh, inspiration of that as well. Um, but you two are a power couple. Barry, in The Power of Differentiation, as you've been sharing, there's many large companies, many names that many of our listeners are very familiar with that have benefited from your expertise. But Barry, so many of our listeners are from the small business community, entrepreneurs that might just be getting started. Barry, the big question is, is the power of differentiation and some of the tips that you have relevant to them as well? And please elaborate. 
they are absolutely relevant because so many of us, like me, I run a small business. And what we're doing is really unique. And that doesn't mean it's superior in every way, Shalom, but it means we're doing it a certain way, not just because that's how we do it, but for certain reasons. It could be we're a small engineering firm. It could be we're a small technology group a software group, but we're doing certain things that we think are important. We're paying a little extra for certain ingredients or technology. We're taking that extra step. We have to stop and realize, wait a minute, there's a reason we're doing it. There very likely is a great value. And we need to share that because for all your audience, like me, I'm a small business person. If I don't differentiate myself, I only have one option. I have to lower my prices. Because that's it. I'm no special than any, uh, no more special than anyone else. I am like everyone down the road. I am a commodity. So we small business people have to think about what do we do that's unique, and we have to be able to position that with our customers. And as I've said several times, celebrate it with our employees. Absolutely, Barry. Uh, again, it's been a, a long ride since your uh, since your uh, success in the music space in the 1980s, and you've gone on um, with again Labov uh, Marketing Communications, um, written books, received many accolades, including from the Better Business Bureau, Ernst and Young, and so on. And uh, right now, you have seen the business world evolve. We're having this conversation in early 2024, so. Barry, what's your what's your uh, sort of crystal ball as you look back at the past uh, four decades and uh, see the changes? What do you anticipate will be the big changes in the next four decades, perhaps? Well, what I see that's going to be very important for all of us is is that technology is there to support us to make some things better, but it's not for us if we're entrepreneurial. It's not for us to lean on and, and have take over our lives. So I do not fear the technology, but we must realize that as technology advances, we have to make sure we play our role. We have to have our conscience. We have to make sure our passion, our humanity is in everything we do. We cannot cede the future to technology, whether it's AI, machine learning, or whatever. Do not fear the technology. And uh, you just said the uh, the magic two letters, AI, which is something that comes up so regularly uh, on this program. So, Barry, we only have a few minutes remaining. And again, I know you have uh, authored uh, The Power of Differentiation, and uh, you've got a lot of great advice that you've already shared with our listeners. But if folks remember nothing else, we always love to leave people with a homework assignment, something that they can put into action in the weeks and months ahead in 2024. What's the one thing, the one bit of advice that maybe you wish you discovered early on in your business career that you want our listeners to know? Do not give in to the commodity monster. That monster wants you to reduce what you do, to cheapen it, to look and sound like everyone else. Do not do it. Celebrate your uniqueness. Stand up for your brand. Even if you're a two-person company, stand up for it. Identify where the magic is. Make sure that the people who represent you get it and love it. And as you always say, you'll take them from why to wow by unlocking the power of differentiation. Barry LaBeouf, this is fascinating. And uh, the last thing that I want to do in our conversation is indeed get back to, as I mentioned, I know your wife has written a children's book, uh, The Cave Boy, who would be president. And I know that the proceeds are going to worthy charities. And I know you and Carol have a charitable foundation. First of all, why do you do that? Why do you donate this money to uh, some causes? And uh, what are some of the causes that you might want to give a shout out to over here? Well, we really believe that we're here to make a difference. We're not here to be served. We're here to serve. This book is a brilliant book. It was inspired by our grandson, who is now six years old, soon to be seven, who had a speech problem from birth. And he's improving and getting better every day. But it was from the love and and support of people, whether it's teachers, family members, and it's a most it's an incredibly powerful book. That's it. And so for us, we're making sure we're taking care of all types of nonprofits in the speech area. 
Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank you um, for all that you and Carol are doing. It's fantastic. And Barry, you we've talked, we've covered a lot of ground in a short conversation. Uh, and I want to make sure our listeners know how they can get in touch with you, find out more about your uh, your your books, and uh, and learn more about uh, all your uh, products and services that you're offering. How can we learn and stay in touch uh, with Barry Labov? It's very easy. My last name is L A B O V. So go to labove.com. You'll find me on there. Send me a message. It doesn't have to be anything transactional, just something to say hi or ask a question. I'll be happy to help, happy to answer. Fantastic. Barry LaBeouf, thank you so much for joining us. Can't wait to stay in touch with you. Uh, we'll, we're going to squeeze in a very quick break here and get down to business, but be sure to check out our sponsors, Tom Mirabali. For all things health insurance and the Affordable Care Act, you can reach him 630-863-3477, 630-863-3477 or healthplanchicago.com. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. 